This video is a practice question on horizontal curves, or more specifically, the alignment of horizontal curves. I'm going to read out the question while underlining key information. You are asked to design a horizontal curve with a 40 degree central angle for a two lane road with three meter lanes. The design speed is 120 km per hour and super elevation is limited to 6%. Give the radius and length of the curve that you would recommend. The text that I underlined is now shown here in bold. In black we can see the parameters relevant to this problem and in red we can see the question. Our solution approach is to use the relationships for a horizontal curve to calculate the radius and length. Now let's try find a relationship for radius that does not include the length parameter, seeing as radius and length are both unknown to us. We can use this equation For the radius to the center of the innermost lane, this is derived using physics and our understanding of kin kinematics. Note that this radius is to the center line of the innermost lane because we must use the radius that is the path taken by a car. And a car drives in the center line of a lane rather than, say, the centre of a road that has two lanes. Therefore, we would need to convert RV to R because R is the centre line of or the centre of the road. We would do this by consulting the geometry of the horizontal curve. Then we can find our length of the curve based on the relationship between radius and length, which is based on circle geometry. It is important to draw out the question. Here we have a road segment on the screen. It is a two lane road. The dotted blue lines indicate the center line of the lane. There are two lanes. Now, the radius of the road is from the center of the circle to the center of the road. I have drawn it here in blue. Because this is a two lane road, the centre of the road is in the middle of the two lanes. The length of the road is the distance along the curve. You also know that the central angle is 40 degrees. That's this angle here. The central angle can also be represented as delta. Now, what is RV? RV is the radius from the center of the circle to the center line of the innermost lane. I've drawn it here in black. As you can see, RV is not equal to R. The distance between R and RV is half times the width of a lane. 
Let's look at more of the information that we've been provided with. We know our central angle, as discussed. We also know that the velocity is 120 kilometers and that we must convert this to SI units, which is meters per second. We also know that the super elevation, or E, is 6% and can be written in decimal places. There is also one more factor that we need to consider before we go and solve for RV, and that's the maximum side friction factor. Consulting our standards, OSROADS, here we have the 2016 standards, specifically table 7.5. We can find our side friction factor for the given operating speed. Our operating speed is 120. Therefore, we can go ahead and select the side friction factor for cars. This is up 0.11. So the side friction factor is 0.11. Let's go ahead and use this equation RV. Just remember that this is derived from physics, or more specifically from kinematics, the study of the motion of objects. Therefore, as I explained a few slides ago, RV is not the same as R. RV is the radius from the center of the horizontal curve to the center line of the innermost lane. Let's go ahead and calculate RV. RV is equal to V squared. Make sure we put V squared in meters per second, SI units, over G, 9.81, acceleration due to gravity, Open bracket, E, make sure you write E or super elevation in decimal form, plus FS, which is 0 0.11, as we discovered from Osroads. Solving this, we get 666.93 meters. Now, like I explained, RV is not the same as R. RV is the radius from the center of the horizontal curve to the center of the innermost lane. RV is from the center of the horizontal curve to the center of the innermost lane. That's RV. R, on the other hand, is from the center of the lane to the center of the horizontal curve. Now, the difference between R and RV is therefore half a lane. R is equal to RV plus half times a lane. What is the length of a lane in meters? It's three meters, which was provided to us in the question. Therefore, we can use this geometric relationship to find the value of R. In the previous question, we found RV to be 666.93. Therefore, R Therefore, R is 666.93 plus half times 3, which is equal to 668.43 meters. So, now we've solved for the radius. The recommended radius for the horizontal curve is 668.43 meters. It's really important that you don't use RV as RV is not the real radius of the curve. 
Now let's go ahead and solve for the length of the curve. To do this, we use a very simple relationship between radius r, your arc length l, and your angle delta. Just note that your delta must be in radians when used to convert between r and l. Because we are entering delta in degrees, we have this conversion path factor phi over 180. So what we're going to do is take the length of the arc, L, our radius, R, and our delta, angle, and convert between R and L. Therefore, let's go ahead and solve this. L is equal to pi over 180 times 40 degrees times 668.43 meters. Solving this in our calculator, we find that L is equal to 466.65 meters. So there you have it. We've answered the problem. We found a recommended radius and length of the curve. Our recommended length was 466.65 meters. Our recommended radius was 668.43 meters. Thanks for watching this video and good luck.